Greetings. It is the 25th of June, and our reading for this day is from Paul's letter to the church at Galatia, or Galatians, chapter 5, verses 2 through 6. Listen, I, Paul, am telling you that if you let yourselves be circumcised, Christ will it be no benefit to you. Once again, I testify to every man who lets himself be circumcised that he is obligated to obey the entire law. You who want to be justified by the law have cut yourselves off from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ, Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything. The only thing that counts is faith working through love. So, good morning. This piece um, really truly is less about circumcision, really, uh, um, than it is th th this sense of trying to be, if you will, too um, religious um, or having to the number two um, faith practices at the same time. And that's kind of what was going on here. People um, in this, this new Christian community um, that, that had real, really, these, these other faith practices, Judaism being one of them, were trying to mix practices. They were trying to, in some ways, hedge their bets, making sure that, well, I believe in Christianity, but I, I, I want to make sure I'll do this piece for this and this, and, and kind of mix it all together into something that really wasn't going to work uh, when it came to following Jesus. It caused confusion in the church. It harmed the early, early Christians who were struggling with, with what it meant to, to be a believer of Jesus. Paul, and, and here I think is where this tumbles down for us. Paul is, is saying to the Galatians, look, you got to focus on what really matters, what is most important. And, and that's where it applies to us, right? Interesting to ask that question. What is most important now while we're not in our building, right? This, this place that so much resource goes to, to build, maintain, be a part of, right? And we're not in it. So what is most important? We've got to ask ourselves in our faith, what matters the most? Well, of course, I want to be back in our worship space, but I'm not saying, I don't think we should say that somehow we've been separated from God in, in any way. That's the focus, right? The focus needs to be on what matters most, and that's Jesus crucified and risen to save us from our sins. That's what's most comforting. Yeah, there'll be a day we use our building again, guaranteed. <laughs> but, but that can't be what matters the most here. Our focus needs not to be on something different. Like for, uh, for the Galatians, it was all wrapped around this circumcision question. For us is when do we get back into the building or something. But what it really needs to be is Jesus. Let us pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly God, help us to see you first. 
Help us not to focus so much on what we don't have, but what we do have. And first and foremost, that would be you. You who give us what we need. You who have not abandoned us. You, dear God, that still love us in the same way that you always have. Help us to focus and, and, and grab a hold of that promise of your presence. Heavenly God, we pray for guidance to all those in leadership positions. No matter at what level of government or church or whatever it is, dear God, we ask for your wisdom, for your guidance to be with them. Dear God, as, as a country, we are in unrest. As we struggle with how to treat all people, no matter what they look like, in a fair and in, in, in a way that is just. Help us, dear God, to make the changes that are necessary. Help us, dear God, to find ways of peace and equal justice. And dear God, as always, we pray for an end to the pandemic. And while we are in this pandemic, dear God, we pray for all of those in the front line that you would keep them safe. You would heal those suffering from COVID. And that, dear God, you would comfort us all in the middle of this process. Dear God, we pray all these things to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.